have been waiting to do today's video for so long. I'm so excited. I've had to like gather and collect my materials and do some research, but the time has come and now we are finally doing this. I am so excited. Today's video is going to be like a bike shorts showdown, if you will. I'm going to be trying on, I think like seven or eight different pairs of bike shorts because if you guys don't know, or if you've never met me before, hi, I wear bike shorts like literally almost every day. I could go on for years about how much I love bike shorts shorts. They're the perfect comfy short. They're chafe resistant. They are flattering on everyone. They're cute. They're easy. Most of the time they're incredibly affordable as well. So I'm going to be going over everything from kind of like the low end of the scale to the high priced end of the scale, trying on different things, giving you my reviews. It's going to be kind of like a trying on different sizes, but like trying on every pair of bike shorts so you don't have to type of thing. I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say that like I made bike shorts cool, but like I've been wearing them for over a year now. I mean, as well as like throughout my entire childhood because I actually was a kid in the 90s. But I mean, I've converted a lot of my friends, my YouTube friends, people in my real life. So I mean, I'm totally kidding. But I know a lot of you guys have also started recently buying bike shorts from seeing them in my videos and it just makes me so happy. So hopefully I will be able to give you like some good bike shorts tea today. We're just gonna jump right in. Let's go ahead and try on like literally 82 pairs of bike shorts. Let's go. I can't believe this is my job. I really feel very lucky in this moment. Okay, so starting off, I'm just wearing like my pajama shorts underneath for now until I try all of these on. But I'm wearing a shirt that I normally like would wear with bike shorts. Like I thought about wearing a sports bra so you could see the fit, but this is actually what I would normally end up wearing so I'll just kind of like show you as I go because I want to get a good idea of like how they would actually look in a real outfit that I would wear because I don't often leave my house in a sports bra and like bike shorts together <laughs> That's just not my cup of tea. So I did get black bike shorts in every single one of these places just because I felt like that would make the playing field much more even. So like I said, we'll kind of do like a progressive scale here. We'll start with the least expensive and move up to the most expensive. Let's try on the first pair. So first we are going to try out Forever 21. Now I went into the Forever 21 store for these. These are in black. They're a size large and they are $3.90. Like I am not trying to drag for Forever 21, but like in what universe is this a large? <laughs> they do feel very, very structured in the waist. And if I remember correctly about Forever 21 leggings, they're kind of not the best because they're incredibly see-through. I don't know if you can see that, but every time you wear anything with them, you can immediately see through unless you're just wearing nothing and then you can just see your butt crack. But they always, I remember, have like a really tight elastic waistband. This was the largest size that they had available in stores. And I did go looking around the plus size section as well and they didn't have any plain black bike shorts. They only had a pair of black leather bike shorts which we will get into but yeah so this is going to be the first pair we try on. I'm gonna you know get naked on camera. What's new? Welcome to my channel. Oh my god I'm really not naked. Please don't demonetize me. Okay so here we go. Okay. <sighs> Feel tight. Actually wait a minute. These aren't as bad as I thought. I was really fully anticipating that these weren't going to go on, but like they do kind of fit. I'm really confused. I think that after a while they would feel really, really tight and I'm hiking them to high heaven to get them to the normal. I think that they're probably supposed to sit somewhere down here, but I can't do that. So I'm just trying to pull these up like as high as they'll possibly go. I wore a pair of full butt underwear so you could see. I think you can definitely see through these. I was kind of expecting to hate on these, but I really don't that much. I definitely think I would go online and order it an extra large because that's much more my size, but I was fully getting ready to shit on these, I'm not gonna lie, but for $3.90? come through. I definitely feel the tightness around the waist. And like I said, I feel like after a few minutes, it would start probably getting annoying. I have a very sensitive stomach. So if anything is tight around my stomach, especially up here, I get like indigestion and like a stomach ache. If you're just kind of dipping your toe in the bike shorts pond, I don't know, these might be a good option to start with because it's four bucks. So moving right along, we've got our next pair of shorts right here. And normally I would go like the next step up in the pricing scale, but I kind of want to show these because they go hand in hand. They're from the same store, but these are from the plus size section at Forever 21. And like I said, they didn't have any plain black bike shorts available in a 0X. The only 0X they had in the entire store for bike shorts was this pair of like liquid leather bike shorts. And like, I'm fully expecting to hate these, but I don't know, I might be surprised. These actually retail for $9.90. I'm just really curious to try these out in comparison to the largest size that they had available in the straight size department and the smallest size that they had available in the plus size department. That 
sound is atrocious. This feels like I am wearing a condom. <laughs> Okay, so overall I have to say, <laughs> I just can't get over this. Oh God. I have to say that they, the fit, we're gonna go by the fit, okay, not by the look. These are just, these are not my look. I mean, they're not so bad if you wear them like this, but we'll get to that. The overall fit is a lot better in the waist area. This is something that I could definitely get down with, but I would say that these fit more like if you were to, I don't know, say buy a pair of bike shorts or leggings from Target, these fit like maybe a Target XL would or even a large, but Forever 21 is just notorious for making their sizes so much smaller than they really are. But I mean, these fit me, these are a good fit. The only thing that actually kind of surprises me is right down here at the bottom, down here at the bottom by the leg, it's actually way tighter than the other. I don't know if that's just like the style of it, but it's actually kind of like really tight down here at like the top of my knee. I'm very confused. Like, and sometimes I like to, Sometimes I like to wear my bike shorts a little more pulled up and that just wouldn't be possible with these on because they're just so tight. So you kind of have to wear them pulled down like this. I really worry about these on a hot day, especially in Arizona where I live. Like I feel like there's a chance I might burst into flames. We've got to take these off. We got to move on. Okay, so stepping up from the Forever 21, the first shorts, like kind of the price scale on that, we have a pair for $5.99 and these are from H&M. I did get these in store as well. They were only available up to a size large, but these feel a lot more stretchy than the first pair. And these are actually a, quite a bit shorter, so I don't know if they're gonna give me that exact like cycling short that I'm looking for, that look. But I am pretty impressed with the stretchiness of them so far, and I'm also worried about them being high-waisted enough, but we'll get into that. So okay, let's take these, let's peel these off of my body. Okay, here we go. Feel really good, so, oh my God. These are so stretchy. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second, bitch. Okay, I will say that these are a bit shorter than like your typical bike short because if I was to wear this shirt like down at the normal length, they kind of barely poke out. But I could wear them a bit lower and compromise, I guess. The only thing is if you wear them lower, you have this kind of like gap in your crotch area and then it gives your thighs the ability to chafe. And that is like the number one reason that I love wearing bike shorts so much much as that never happens. But I am so impressed by this waistline. Like, are you kidding me? I'm genuinely so impressed that this is a large, I thought H&M was gonna be way worse. Forever 21 and H&M are pretty bottom of the barrel as far as like how to make me feel like shit about my body because of their sizing. My only complaint about these is that they are probably very see-through and that they are a little too short. I would prefer maybe like this length, but I love these. I can't believe it for six bucks. Yes, please. Things are going well. I'm like literally thriving in this moment. I'm so happy. Moving on to the next step up, we have my love, the biggest angel in my life, and that is Target. And I chose the Wild Fable brand because I felt like that was kind of the most accurate look that I was looking for. And I got these in a size extra large, and these are $7. They did have a size large and an extra large available, but I've worn Wild Fable like dresses and leggings before, and I was an extra large, so I figured I'd go with that. You know, the sizing is like a little bit inconsistent, but I kind of just was working with what they had in store and what I felt like would fit my body the best. So, okay, seven bucks, here we go. Ooh, yes. Okay, those slid on like literal butter. I have to say, I probably could afford to go down to a size large, but I don't really mind things being a little bit looser on me. And I think a lot of the time you guys like drag me for being like, you're not a size 14, you're more of a 12. Like I probably am, but just as far as like comfort is concerned, I really just like things to fit a lot more loosely on my body. I'm just very particular about that. And these fit Great. I will definitely say that they are just as see-through, if not more than the Forever 21 ones. I'm holding this up like this over my leg and I can see through it entirely. Like it looks like tight. So just be very cautious about what you're wearing with these, but these are so comfy. And the waistband is something that I like a lot more. They're kind of more of like a yoga pant waistband because the material is so thin, they'll probably start pilling right here between my legs very quickly and then probably eventually get a hole, but 
I almost want to say that the Forever 21, I mean, I definitely want to say that the Forever 21 bike shorts were higher quality than this, which is kind of weird, but like the waist part just fits so much better. So it's just kind of like a toss up. It depends on what you like. For seven bucks, I give it my stamp of approval. Next, we are going to move on to Walmart. I tried to find their kind of most basic pair of bike shorts and I ordered these online. What are these called? What brand are you? After looking on the website, these are the Women's Core Active Dry More Bike Short, and these were $8. These are in a size extra large, which this says an extra large is sizes 16 to 18. So I'm very confused now. These aren't in the plus size section either. These are just like a standard, so I'm very confused. But overall, they do look, again, kind of boxy, like the H&M ones. They're just a bit short, and I feel like companies would be better off if they made them longer then you can kind of customize it and like pull them up if you want to but we're gonna try these nonetheless they feel good they feel loose okay these aren't so bad i definitely say they're way too big like i would need to size down at least one maybe two sizes like there's a gap in between that i can fit my finger in without even like me pulling it out that sounded inherently sexual. I have to, ooh, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm pulling on this to make it the high-waisted length that I want, and it's going right up the camel, if you know what I'm saying. They're not my size. I don't know what I was thinking by getting extra larges, but they're not bad. I mean, again, for eight bucks, like if you were stopping by Walmart and you needed to grab some like snacks and some bike shorts, like eight bucks later, I think that you could probably spend less money and get better ones that I've tried so far, but these are an option for those of you that like don't have a Target near you or like, I don't know, maybe Target doesn't ship to you and you wanna go to Walmart, like these are a great option as well. I'll definitely be returning them. They have like a weird seam on the back that are supposed to look like athletic bike shorts that's not my thing I just kind of like them plain but I'd try them on in case some of you might like them so here we are she's a Walmart queen all right next up we have Old Navy I figured Old Navy is a place that a lot of us shop and I've heard that they have really good leggings so I thought okay let's try these bike shorts and see what they have to offer and these were $12.60 not bad I would say that they're more of much more of an athletic material bike shorts, which is kind of hard when you're looking online, it's hard to tell. These feel much more like an athletic short, so not really my thing, but I did get an extra large for those of you wondering. I have to strategically stand in front of my mirror so you can't see my ass. Ooh, tight. Ooh. Okay, these are definitely like a workout legging. If you wanted to buy these just to work out in, these are probably where I would go. They do feel very like, they're, they're similar to like the Fabletics ones I've tried on. Not quite as compressy, but definitely like you can feel that they're like holding you in. So if that's what you were going for, that's great. And these will do that for you. But these are just, yeah, they're not my vibe. I feel like because of whatever, like, <laughs> hi. Nice to meet you. I feel like because of whatever like seam issue they have going on here, it doesn't like quite go up high enough. And I feel like the very top of my thighs would end up chafing and I don't love that. They are very tight for an extra large, but it just goes to show that sizing is so different. It varies so much from store to store. Like the extra large ones that I just tried on from Walmart were like out to here. And then these ones are kind of a really snug fit. So it means absolutely nothing and has no weight on your worth whatsoever. But I just, I'm not really feeling them. They don't feel that great. They they do feel more like athletic shorts, which is fine if that's what you're looking for, but they're not, so I'm gonna move on. The very last pair we have is the, like quite the jump. So I mean, these are what, $12.60? I just gotta say, um, these are a little bit more. I have seen these all over Instagram, and I actually had to order them through Nordstrom because through their website, they were actually sold out. And this is by the brand Girlfriend Apparel. And I wanted to try these out because this company seems really cool, and they are very like sustainable. They actually, make their leggings out of recycled plastic bottles, which is incredible. These are $48. Um, I don't think I would ever in my life actually keep these no matter how amazing they were because I just cannot justify spending $48 on a pair of leggings. I love supporting sustainable companies and this company is doing incredible things for the environment and the planet, but I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep them. I don't know, we'll see. Ooh, very tight. Ooh, okay, super high-waisted. They actually feel really good. Damn it. 
for a pair of you know athletic bike shorts which is not exactly what i like they feel good like you could probably even wear these as spanks to be honest i love that they're recycled the material just isn't my favorite and again these are just very like these are workout shorts which i know that the brand is workout gear entirely but i thought i would try them nonetheless because a lot of you guys have been asking about them so i don't think that there's any way i could keep these though like i just i cannot pay 48 dollars to wear something that i'm gonna wear under a giant t-shirt like this when you'd never be able to tell the difference between this and like the very first pair that i tried on for 390 well we've seen it done a lot today you know we went from three dollars and 90 cents to 48 dollars we've been on quite the journey there's been crotch grabbing there's been latex snapping we've just had quite a time but i mean i feel really good overall so hopefully you feel very informed and now it's time to go through all these repackage the majority of them and send them back to get my money back <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video you'll have to let me know what pair you thought looked the best what was your favorite if there are any that you're gonna buy also if you're interested i'll link all of them down below in case you want to check any of them out if you have any other brands of bike shorts that you want me to try in videos let me know in the comments below or any other type of video you want to see and yeah i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye